Hi, good evening, and welcome to another of my moustache musings. Tonight, my moustache is going to stash talk diversity and multiculturalism. Now, I hope that the sound quality is okay because I forgot to bring out the Bluetooth microphone. Well, never mind if. Um, if it's bad, then I'll just re-record it. Maybe I'll think of other points to trash this ridiculous multiculturalism and diversity nonsense. Now, if you are a sane person, I'm sure you know as much as I do that multiculturalism and diversity good things. It's it's uh, what Malaysia is. It's wonderful. But in the, today I think it's just taken to it's been shot to hell. So let me let me just give you an example and try and set the stage for you. Recently there were, were many movies that were announced, new movies, and uh, that's great. And all all these uh, movies are based on um, uh, comics and uh, they will be made into movies and I think that they um, come hot on the heels of the Marvel uh, franchise um, you, you know that recently the, the movie studios made a lot of money with the Avengers series of um, movies and uh, all these movies are actually based on comics so it was really fun to see uh, Iron Man uh, come to life on the on the screen um, Captain America the Hulk that was always an interesting uh, character When uh, before the CGI, we had the Hulk. He was played by an, an, uh, a bodybuilder called Lou Ferrigno. Ferrigno, I think, if I remember correctly. It, he wasn't a very big Hulk. He didn't look anything like the comic book, but well, at least you got to see the Hulk on the silver screen. Now. <clears throat> and uh, but there were some characters that did not follow the original um, comics well um, I suppose the storylines were updated a little bit and maybe the movie studios wanted to shake things up a little bit and uh, so some characters were a little different from the characters that you you grew up with in the comics. Huh? Then you get these new movies. And these new movies, really every character is just totally changed and different. <clears throat> For instance, there was a remake of the Ghostbusters and uh, instead of four lovable, uh, three, three plus one, uh, three plus one lovable characters fighting ghosts, uh, it became an all women Ghostbusting crew. Why? Because diversity ma. The original 
movie or Ghostbusters were played by male actors. So since there are not enough female actors, actresses, actors, now now I don't even know which how do you how do you address female actors? You, you still call them actors or act actresses? You know, I'm just gonna say what I what I think it, it is like. So Ghostbusters recently came out and um, it was played all the characters were played by female actors. Then uh, there were remember I was, I was telling you that there were new movies that are that were announced. So in the comic book the characters were white but in the movie they'll be black. And of course if you grew up with that particular comic and you really, really liked that comic so it's just strange lah. it's a bit like saying Iron Man is now made out of plastic because we updated his armor and uh, who the hell you know makes armors out of metal anymore so we've updated it to plastic or the Hulk is no more green he is now stripes of purple and red because you know uh, we want to update his the character and by the way um, Captain America now he's uh, now called um, Colonel America because you know Captain is quite a low rank so you know if, if you change too much uh, you change the character too much people of course are going to resist it lah. but sometimes we change a character because the character is not relevant anymore uh, it might be relevant in uh, in the 70s or in the 60s or even in the in the 50s so uh, now that we are, we live in the we are we living in 2021 and so maybe some things need to be updated lah uh, for instance the kinds of spaceships that were drawn in the 1960s and 70s uh, very old-fashioned so when movies make uh, movies based on when movie studios make movies based on those um, characters and, and, and the, the comic books then they update a few things lah. Huh? for instance uh, you'll probably use handphones and and uh, computers more in the movie itself but uh, Superman still wears his underwear on the outside lah. even though a lot of things have been up updated his undies are still the same red, red undies on the outside but anyway back to the diversity and multiculturalism thing so now uh, like we, uh, I was telling you Ghostbusters are now played were played by female actresses and uh, lots of comic book characters are now being changed from white heroes now in the new movies they will be played by black uh, actresses and, and uh, actors and this they say is the right thing to do because they we want to have more diversity I think that's future I think forcing forcing yourselves to embrace this uh, diversity and multiculturalism in this manner I think is it doesn't work I'll give you an, an example so the world's population half of the world's population are women okay but if you walk into any 
office or any corporation, big or small, you will probably find in an imbalance in the workplace. If as a whole, the company can boast that they have a good mix of men and women, I can bet you that in the top management will be mostly men. And uh, in the lower uh, rung of the company, uh, you will find a lot of women working there. So that's not equality. And you know, I would love to see uh, more women in the upper management. However, I know that we should not force any company to try and make the uh, ratio of male and female to be to reflect the world population, which is about half half lah. I think that we shouldn't give priority to uh, women just because they are women. I really wouldn't want any company to tell their HR department hey, we need more women in the upper management so go and, go and get me uh, enough women to sit in upper management so that it will reflect a 50-50 ratio 50% men, 50% women I think that that would be bad it would be bad for women how, how did you get this job Linda? oh I got it because they had to give it to me after all I'm a woman really that's, that's really how you want to be telling people how you got your job you guys already grumbled about the quota that Malaysian uni universities have so they have their Bumi Putra quota 90% 95% I heard uh, reserved for Bumi Putras 5% Reserve for the Dan Line Line that includes all the uh, Sikhs and Indians and Chinese uh, and whatever else. Now, Bui Putras are not just the Malays, the indigenous people of Sabah, Sarawak are also considered Bui Putras. And uh, so is my friend. Who is Kristam? He is Portuguese. He has yes, he's of Portuguese descent, and um, he is considered Buyukra. But he will be the first to tell you that he has no uh, advantage when it comes to applying for local university, and um, he never went to university applied for university but never got it. I think that if women, uh, you want more women to be in, the, in upper management, then they should be, um, they should qualify uh, to be in upper management and uh, management should choose and pick people for their for the upper management in their company based on merit, based on ability, based on how well that person will fit in with the upper management team, and not just because they are a woman or a man for that matter, or because they are black or white. Or, oh, you know what, we need more Asians in here, we don't have enough uh, Asians, not diverse enough, so hey, let's get some, a few Asians in here, lah. okay? I think that's the wrong way to go about it.
So we used to complain like hell when we are not given a proper chance. But now it seems like the whole world is bending over backwards just to appease this, just to make sure that they are in the right group. You know, hey, look, we are so diversified. Hey, we, we practice multiculturalism. I mean, in actual fact, what you've just done is you've given uh, jobs uh, for free and given it's very much like cronyism. And um, what is that? The, what's the other word that's associated to cronyism? You've just been handed over a position all because you are either Asian or black or woman actually you didn't deserve to be in that position you did not deserve to get that job <whistles> ah you remember me wait no he's gonna bark no he hasn't barked tonight he has remembered me good dog They, I read online uh, that there was a movie part. I can't remember how it started. It, um, anyway, one of the characters in the movie or TV show or whatever it is uh, was a mentally challenged person. And uh, a mentally challenged actor actually went to audition for the role. And the role was given to an able body actor. It means there's nothing wrong with that actor. And in that movie, that actor will be pretending to be mentally challenged because that's what the character is. So there was a big uproar on the internet saying that here we have an actor who is act really actually mentally challenged who knows what it's like to be mentally challenged after all he is mentally challenged uh, I don't even know if I'm using that word correctly but you know what if you're going to get angry over it you can go to hell uh, and uh, but who those movie studio idiots decided to give the role to uh, an able body person who does not know what it's like to uh, be mentally challenged and uh, therefore is just going to be pretending to be mentally challenged in the movie and I was thinking to myself all those people who commented and, su and uh, supported uh, the uh, call, the protest, and uh, to for the mentally challenged actor to get the role and get the other guy fired. I thought, I thought that they were idiots. Hey, this is a movie, la. Do you really think that Captain America is over a hundred years old, or oh, he has uh, Iron Man really exists, uh, just by putting a that? What, what is that, that nuclear powered thing in his chest? He's really powering uh, a suit of metal that can make him fly. And and uh, you really think that the Incredible Hulk is real? Uh, uh, you really think that uh, Golem, Golem, right? That creature from the Lord of the Rings? Golem. Golem. Forgotten the character's name. Do you really think that the actor playing it really was born in a family like that? Is it? Uh, those uh, the hobbits, they they really just midgets. Is it? Is it, do, you, do you really think so, or do you think that acting is this profession where people pretend to be somebody else, as per what the script calls them? calls for them to be. 
Can you imagine? The uproar. If uh, the movie Gandhi was was um, was made today instead of in the 1980s, I think it was in the 1980s, right? Yeah, I think I think. No wait, was gee, I can't remember when Gandhi was made, but it starred Ben Kingsley, an actor who was half Indian, a British actor, by the way. I can just see it lah. If 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 the movie was made today, everybody will be like getting angry lah. Why can't you find an Indian actor lah? With a proper Indian accent, he doesn't have to fake an accent. Don't you know it's a uh, uh, how you say disrespectful? Don't you know it's very disrespectful when you uh, put on an Indian accent lah? Because that's what. Ben Kingsley had to do. He had to pretend to be Gandhi. <laughs> but this is what this, uh, in the name of diversity and multiculturalism, uh, is doing today. We should. Uh, I think it's just ridiculous. Like, I think it's just plain stupid, plain stupid to have people even argue and uh, try and promote this this brand of diversity, diversity and multiculturalism. Now, diversity is great. I love living in a diverse country. I love living in a multicultural society. I cannot imagine myself living in a single cultural culture society. Now that I've eaten rendang and satay and banana leaf rice, my God, you try taking away Indian food from me and see what happens to you. You try telling me, hey, you are Chinese, huh? you only eat Chinese food, huh? I'll tell you, you can go to hell. It's multicultural multiculturalism is great. It's fantastic. There's so many benefits to it. Diversity, of course, to me is like the spice of life. What are we without if we lived in just one kind of um, if it, uh, just one one type of society? It's diversity that makes our country and our planet so wonderful, you know. But when you force diversity on people, I think that that, that is wrong. Long ago, maybe this was back in the 90s or something, when Disney had suddenly um, found success again. For many, many years, Disney uh, seemed to have lost its magic touch with um, cartoon movies. Don't know if, uh, if you know that or not. And uh, their fortunes were reversed when um, they uh, made the, the Little Mermaid. And suddenly they kind of found their, the, the old formula of a great story with great music. Um, they found it working again. But before The Little Mermaid, all the movies before that were just flops. Spent a lot of money making movies, but nobody really wanted to watch them. Houses. Oh, so Are you chained, boy? No? You're not chained? 
will run away. Anyway, you do remember uh, Cinderella and all the wonderful songs and Snow White and then uh, Pinocchio and Peter Pan. Well, um, after those movies, uh, Disney kind of like uh, lost it until uh, The Little Mermaid and after the, the Little Mermaid which saw the teaming up of Alan Menken who wrote the music and I want to say Howard Ashman who wrote the lyrics they were really catchy music and and uh, the lyrics were also very good and then uh, they went on to produce uh, um, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast. When they made Aladdin, Aladdin, I made a prediction with my friends, uh, being a big, uh, big fan of Disney movies. I made a prediction. Uh, yeah, they had uh, Taz, Tarzan. Yeah, I, I, I said that. It looks like this movie is uh, moving into uh, other cultures. So once when uh, all their characters were just white characters, you think about it, Cinderella, Snow White, Sleeping Beauty, Peter Pan, all the heroes were white Caucasian characters. But now with uh, Aladdin, it's set in Arabia. So even though they spoke in English, but uh, at least lah, you can see some uh, Middle Eastern culture in the, in the movie. So I said uh, the next movie would be a Chinese uh, movie. Well, one, because I thought that they were going in the same, in that direction of steering away from just uh, white characters and uh, I thought that if you want to break into the Chinese market what what better way than to <clears throat> have a Chinese fairy tale and uh, and I was right uh, Mulan was the movie that came out and uh, after that was Lilo and Stitch and that was a Hawaiian uh, movie and Empress New Groove was a movie set in um, the uh, South America. So I kind of like saw that. Uh, wow, I think I saw it coming. Yeah. Now, back then, we didn't have this multiculturalism and diversity thing. If you ask me, I think that Disney just made those movies because they could sell. You know, not because they were pressured to make a non-white movie or non-white movies. They think that movies based in Hawaii and China and um, Africa and South America can sell. Then you make movies, lah. You make movies about them, lah. You know, but if you think that. Those movies cannot make money. Don't lah. But that's not the case today. Today, we are making movies because we don't want people to get on the internet and uh, accuse us of uh, being non-diversified and uh, non-supportive of uh, black people or colored people or other cultures. Bullshit. I don't know where these idiots uh, even get the call to come to these kinds of uh, these kinds of uh, oh, there's two of them <laughs> two of them <laughs> oh three <laughs> oh <laughs> good one Where they, they come up with their, their kind of logic by forcing people to be diverse. I 
think it's, it's, it's the wrong thing to do. I think it's going to be bad. If a black person were to get a role in a movie, it's because the black, the black actor can bring something to the table and they are great black actors and actresses. And you can't put a black actor or a black character and force it into a movie. It's, I think, impossible. Can you imagine if in the movie The Lion King, and then we, we decided that, you know what, uh, why don't we just make Simba Chinese instead? How does that work? Diversity, ma! If uh, you employ a woman in your company, make sure she's qualified. Make sure she deserves uh, to have that that job. Make sure that she is she is the best candidate for the job, not because she's a woman. If you hire an Indian uh, person. And make sure that that Indian person is qualified for the job, lah. Not because you want to be, you know, uh, diversified. And so, you know what? Uh, our company needs a person of color, and uh, who better than uh, one Indian fellow, lah? I'm just going to hire a fellow. It's okay, lah. No, think of if that that Indian person does not qualify for that position, don't hire the person. You all know and complain all the time. Want to work for the government? You can't. All the positions have to be filled by Malays. Don't you all complain about this? Right? So, how now? You guys are the same people who complain that there are no need to even bother applying for government positions because you're not Malay. Uh, oh, a few years ago, I remember the police uh, force were recruiting new recruits and they uh, wanted to get, they, and they were encouraging non-Malays to join. Uh, possibly because um, not enough uh, people were joining the police force so now the police were uh, um, forced to look at <laughs> That was unintentional that time. The police were forced to look outside of uh, their usual the Malay group of um, applicants. And uh, there was one Chinese guy who whose application was approved by the police and um, it came out in the papers and uh, uh, it was uh, quite a big deal. Lah. Oh, see, the police uh, don't uh, discriminate uh, in hiring people so uh, we will hire uh, Chinese people to join the police force as well. But I know what you all were thinking. Lah. I was also thinking the same thing. The guy is not going to rise too far up the ranks lah, because we all know and we can see even uh, today the top posts are all uh, Malays. In fact, I've got a, a friend whose father uh, was a policeman and he can attest to that. I've a um, friend Jeffrey, his father was a policeman and uh, when he retired he was very bitter according to Jeffrey lah. <laughs> oh, you guys live here? Yeah, yeah. I see, I see. Okay, okay. <laughs> What's wrong with his? So Seriously, he's, you actually gave him some. some... Oh, his muscle. Not muscle, I don't know, the, the brain or something. Oh. Check with the doctor. The doctor say, each dog, they are sometimes they go to certain yes. age, they have to yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, poor guy. Poor guy. It's okay. I know, I know. It's okay. Yeah, lah. Oh, 
Yeah. MCO lah, this one. <laughs> you also got MCO problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah lah. Okay, see you, see you. <laughs> the guy let his dogs out for a little walkabout. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, I was telling you about Jeffrey's dad, and uh, he was saying that even though he was a senior, a senior policeman, his juniors, which who used to call him Tuan, rose faster than him, and uh, in the end, he ended up calling his juniors Tuan. So he was very bitter because he felt that he was senior and uh, he should have risen up the ranks, um, and. Uh, not be left behind by his uh, juniors and uh, of course uh, Jeffrey told me that the juniors were Malays so we are all unhappy with these kinds of uh, preferences given to people based on their race and not based on their merits not based on their ability but now you want to cram the same things down the throats of other people. The very same things that you are angry, that you were angry with, and now you are doing the same thing. Oh, we should have more black actors in the movies. Oh, we should have uh, more black directors in the movies. Oh, we sh should have uh, more women in the workplaces. That's really the wrong thing to do. So how to that? How to support this kind of nonsense? You want people like me to support you? Huh? You yell diversity and multicultural culturalism, but actually you're just trying to force people to do what you want. I'm a firm believer in people getting their risk getting a job because they qualify for it because they were the best person for it you know and not because of their skin color or their or their sex of course like we when uh, uh, who is that Penang MP I think he actually hired um, a transgender um, um, as one of his staff. We celebrate that, you know. We, we, I, I think it's a good thing that he, he didn't, um, uh, what do you say, um, stopped her from joining his team just because uh, she's transgender. Well, if she can do the job, doesn't matter lah, whether she's got what between her legs or what she doesn't have between her legs, whether she's natural or unnatural, doesn't matter lah, you can do the job, then welcome aboard, but if you can't do the job, I don't care whether you're transgender ka, gay ka, black ka, white ka, woman ka, then you don't deserve that job lah. I suppose what I'm saying is, be fair lah, you know, you cannot be cramming this um, down the throats of people and, and then after that, uh, wow, you know when you have a movie with uh, all black cast, wow, time to celebrate, see, diversity, the multiculturalism, nonsense lah, it's a fake movie. You know, this is nothing new, but there has been lots of movies where it's made and produced by uh, black uh, companies, you know, directed by a black person, and the actors and the whole cast are all blacks, and the heroes are all blacks. And I'm not saying that it failed or it, it's successful. I think that it you should just do what you think is best lah, whatever makes money lah, you know, whatever you think is going to work for you lah, and not because you feel pressured by people to uh, to make these kinds of uh, 
movies, even though you think it's it's not going to make money. But hey, just to show people that you are um, what do you call that with the in crowd, so you you uh, force yourself to make these kinds of movies or hire that kind of person when actually you also think that hey, I don't think that person is qualified. But what to do? They want people want to see us hiring more women, more blacks, more Asians. So we just hire lah. No lah. We need to do something. Make sure it's for the right reasons lah. Anyway, yeah, that's what I think about this. The current state of multicultural culturalism and diversity I think it's all this rubbish and nonsense if really don't understand what diversity really means and, and uh, what multiculturalism really means anyway if you've enjoyed my talks please give me a thumbs up in my videos if you have something to say please leave a comment and I'll make sure I reply them and uh, my moustache and I will see you in the next Moustache Museum. Bye.